Hood, Contingency, King Charles of NYK. But the flow is like incest with degenerates Fucking stupid and fine of interest as I interject I moonwalk in my boots, footsteps when I'm on set Smooth predator boarding the mothership for conquest Cause I'm next I'm sorry if I'm too witty and a screw loose So try to fix something to do with me as I cruise the beat With fluency of what's true to be And truthfully I miss the way that it used to be You say you gifted, had to prove it, beat Set a date, step up to the plate and cease opportunity Let the viewers of the music see me pay Hip-hop gratuity as I chew the beat Influencing UMCs with microphone fever Married to the game with little intention to leave her As long as she act right and not like a diva A little less Cardi B and a lot more Aaliyah We'll see, huh? Sickened by this renaissance of skeezers Shit is not for me, bruh Yeah, I wanna hit through some speakers Playing in some kick songs to sneakers You dead? Uh, I'm going through the days Where people test my gangsta Just for reaction If I ain't getting paid Or recording music Please don't blow my high Roll another J And get ready to What's up, y'all? It's me, your boy Django. I hear DB Land, man. Uh, as you guys can see, nice cozy day before the holiday. And uh, I said, man, let me go down here and check on the check on the lot, man, and see what's going on. So I brought one pole with me. And uh, guys, I wasn't even prepared to do any film. I just really just want to come out here and find a little peace through throughout the island. DB Land Produce, man. Nice large mouth bass, man. Not a not a super winner, man, but he is a nice fish, man. Uh, wasn't even in the water two seconds. Uh, fishing with a cork. Uh, number four hook. A couple of minnows we had left over from a previous trip, man. And uh, what I just got in, man. Uh, nice fish, man. Stay with me and uh, try to see what I can do. Maybe this time I'll hold the camera and see if I can get him to drop again. Stay with me. What up, what up, what up, folks? We all lit. <laughs> what you call him a ditch pickle? <laughs> What's up, judicial man? Doing all right, bro? Is that one of them days again, man? Uh, let me say what's up to everybody, man, before I get started. I ran in session. What's so, up, my peoples? I'm a question mark it. There it is. Bam. Put it up there. <laughs> oh, way up. Say, what's up, Team DB? I'm making it, bro. Um, Chris Johnson, what's up, man? <laughs> Boy, you sure made me smile today when I heard from you. Yes, sir. Uh, what's up, Tony Cole? Tony Cole, say what's up, 3K? Yeah, man, uh, it's Tuesday, man, so I felt like coming here and running my mouth for a second, bro. Wait for a couple of these guys to show up and rise up to the occasion. I talked a lot today, man, uh, if you guys are looking for him. Uh, he may or he may not show up. He's actually out there putting in some, uh, putting in some work, not fishing, but uh, legitimate work. <laughs> yeah, he out there uh, doing his business right now. So uh, I guess whenever he get through with that, he may come in, man, but he probably broke down by now. Let me see. Let's say uh, Liz the Wiz 6 Jones. Say hi to DB and everybody <laughs> here from the ATL. Hey man, what's up? What's up? What's up? What'd you say? Uh what'd you say, Tony? It, it's it's sky time. <laughs> I hear you, bro. Yeah, you definitely a sky. Where your homeboy at, man? I was looking for him today. He hadn't showed up. Oh, Travis Woods. Say uh 
He said, what's good from Quincy, Florida, man? Uh, I tell you what's good. Uh, matter of fact, you probably can give me a, a report, man. Uh, let me know what those bluegills doing down there, man. Are they on bed, man? Uh, or do you know whether or not anybody catching any? Let me know in the comments right quick. What's up, Vincent? Say, what's up, fellas? I got a... Uh, I got a uh, old ham on here with me. He uh, he's got a camera off right quick. He might be in uh trying to eat a pop top before he come on, man. Y'all know how these guys be, man. Oh, Vincent. <laughs> yeah, man. Um, so pretty outside, man. I had to go to the A today, man. And uh, boy, are you talking about? You know what? I ain't trying to talk about y'all city, man. But I'm gonna talk about y'all city, bro. What is the big allure of living in Atlanta, Georgia, man? My goodness, man. That's like the worst commute I think I've ever encountered in my life, man. It's like it's never a good time to go to Atlanta, man. I'm talking about it was a it was a wreck or something on the southbound lane. And let me show you how bad traffic is. I was going north. The traffic was backed up going south, and I was so put aside because I knew I had to go back down through that crap, man. That's how bad I hate Atlanta traffic, man. <laughs> you did say, no, been there, done that. Yeah, man. Y'all can have Atlanta, man. You know you know what? It's beautiful. There's a lot of stuff to do, man. Uh, but, man, I can't get past, I can't get past that traffic, man. Like I spent most of my morning just going there, man. Yeah. Y'all doing all right today? Judicial. Judicial, I, I put your picture on Instagram, man. That was a, I don't know that is that's you and your wife or whatever you guys holding up two nice uh well four nice uh white crappy man. First off, let me say love your boat off the chain and man uh those fish were off the chain. Where do you catch those white crap at, bro? Leave it in the comment right quick. Yeah, let me know where you caught them things at, bro. I'm turning this doggone phone off, man. I know y'all don't want to keep hearing me. Uh, hear my busted behind. Uh, what you call it? Ringtone. Telling my age, talking about you got mail. You hear that? You know you know that person, old. Yeah, man, where y'all get them uh, white crappy from, Judicious? Let me know some, man. I was curious, man. They were in less than two feet of water on Lake Belton. Where is that located? Lake Belton. Never heard of it, man. With some healthy looking fish, man. I said, man, let me, let me, let me post this thing up, man, because um that was nice, man. That was oh, Texas. Okay. So you all over the place. You from you from uh originally from Atlanta, now you're in Texas. That's all right, bro. Nothing wrong with our city. Been there 75 years. Miss Liz, I ain't cracking on your city. Let me let me put that up there. I don't, I, you know what? I don't want me to live. Tam me up. Let me see what she say. So I really like when you guys go night fishing. I really like when we go night fishing too. I just ain't had a chance to go. I, um, believe it or not, it would seem we would fish more during the springtime when everybody's catching fish. But it seemed like for some reason, this time of year is the time we really don't go much, man. Um. One reason in particular is the weather ain't never right, man. It's always, I got a skiff, right? So it does not handle well on windy days. I'm, I'm talking about the smallest gusts just blow me all over the place. I mean, to the point where it'll spin my boat around in a circle, you know. And uh, so anytime I look at the weather report and the wind is going to be like six mile hour wind or better, it it's a no-go for me. Uh, other reason, 
it's just so many people fish and they all it seemed like they all fish the same day in the same locations and um i don't have no problem with that but you know it just like like point check this point out we was fishing a creek channel that literally came all the way to almost a stop and it is just like stumps out there right meaning you you come to the edge of this this creek off the main lake and then it's, it's a re real shallow creek going north i just say north and then just nothing but trees in that water right behind us is nothing but open lake i'm talking about far as you can see look like an ocean you know, this guy on a jet ski came all the way down to the edge of the water where we was at, just to run around in a circle, go back out, come back down, run around in a circle, and go back out again. You know, I sat down, looked down like this right here. Really, dude? I mean, you got like miles and miles of lake that you can play in, but you want to come 10 feet from my boat and uh, create havoc, man. Y'all can have that, man. They say crazy weather in Georgia. Let me see what he say. Uh, judicial say say Lake Belton is on fire right now. Even people who can can't fish. That is, see, can't fish catching crap. Yeah, I'm talking about this. The time to catch it, man. You know when you out there. You know what? Before everybody come on and stuff, let me let me start this thing off, man. Because I assume that these guys will start dropping in the um uh in the um in the show in a second but uh what's up guys this is uh yavo aka django 3k with db crappy fishing and outdoors um uh, i'm back in the house again man um i guess i'll get back out there in the shop in a couple of days or whatever man i've been kind of under the weather man so i've been hanging around in the bedroom chilling um but normally i'm out there in the shop and i come to you out there we can go out there and we can cut the food but today you know i'm kind of laid back a little bit but uh Django 3000 with DB Crappy Fishing Outdoors. Hopefully, in a little bit, a couple more guys come in, come in and uh, we can start this thing off. A uh, particular subject today, we're just going to talk about where to find crappy. You know, where where are where is everybody finding crappy fish? You know what I'm saying? And uh, I'm going to say my spiel, but I definitely want to uh, stay in the chat, man, and get you guys' take on how you're doing out there on the lake, man, and uh, what you're catching, you know, and definitely, man, uh, we need to know how you guys are catching these fish, man, because, you know, as a community, you know, that kind of information is very pertinent, man, especially, you know, if you got all these different people out there that's fishing different ways, like uh, Miss Liz, like she like us fishing night, night fishing, and you got people fishing off the bank, corks, jigs, live bait, you just got so many different ways of trolling, pushing, um, long line and everything. You got all these different people fishing all these different ways and stuff, so... I feel like today will be a great day to come together and uh, just try to figure out what's the easiest way to go at these fish and put them in the, in the cooler, man. Let me see who this is. I got a question up here. Say, Timothy Dennis. He said, do you ever fish Clarks Hill near Augusta, Georgia, South Carolina line? Do one of the guys that's on the forum, uh, Derek Fulton, that's his this is home late. He fishes out all the time. He invited us up um one weekend and uh it was me, Sammy Wright, Low, Chris, Ashley. It was a, it was a number of us going up there. And primarily we we went up there because I kept hearing all these people brag about these heavy two pound crappy at Clark's Hill. Man, I I was won over, man, because I found out when you go to Clark's Hill, all right, I was showing the guys, all right, we went night fishing one night. We was catching 15-inch crappy, man. I'm talking about they were humongous, 15-inch crappy. And they wouldn't even weigh two pounds, man. We go to Clark's Hill, 12, 13-inch crappy, man, over two pounds. I'm talking about you... You reeling in, feel like you got a catfish on, man. It's a doggone crappy, man. So do I fish Clark's Hill? I, you know what? If I could fish Clark's Hill every day, I would. 
That's how much I like that lake, man. And it's it's humongous, man. You can you can pretty much just point your finger and you're gonna go find some fish in that location, man. It's 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 beautiful. Tony says, uh say you gotta keep some rocks in your boat for people like that. <laughs> no, nah, man, because you know what? To each his own, man. You know, the lake is for recreation, also. You know, that, that, well, you know, fishing is recreation. But the thing about it is your recreation, man, you're trying to come to your place. You know what I'm saying? My place is chilling. You know what I'm saying? I want to sit on a boat and chill. You know what I'm saying? These guys consider doing back rolls and donuts and all that chilling. It ain't chilling with me, man. Especially like I had a long week, man. And I just want to chill. That ain't gonna work for me, man. And uh, I know you guys, a lot of a lot of people don't like night fishing per se, but I love it because I don't have to deal with all that stuff at night, man. The only thing you really have to deal with at night is depending on the season, is bugs and um what's the other thing you have to deal with? Oh yeah, adverse weather, like if it's really, really cold. That's it, you know what I'm saying? But you know, the daytime. Too many boats, too many boats in one spot. The water's always choppy because everybody moving. You got your jet skis out there. You got the skiers out there. Game water patrolling, man. You know what I'm saying? If you catch one fish, everybody can see that you caught a fish. You know what I'm saying? It just mayhem. You know what I'm saying? Especially during this time of year when everybody catching fish. You know what I'm saying? I mean, I'm not taking nothing for nobody, man. Get out there and catch your fish. But Everybody catching fish right now, so it's it's it it's it's just utter mayhem right now. There you go, started in the snakes, you know what I'm saying? But you know what? When you fish deep water like we do, man, you don't see many fish, man. Even when you fish around submerged trees and stuff like of that nature, you, you don't really see that many snakes, man. But I've I've had fish coals, you know, and um talking about mansions on both banks and stuff, man. And, Doggone water snakes come up to your boat and man, you pushing them off with your rod and they still won't go back, you know? Yeah. Romero, you sky, where you at, man? <laughs> Boy, I like to see your name come up there, Romero. You make me smile, bro. I know you finna say something crazy. Say, what up, skies? I'm a little late, but I'm here. That's right. You ain't never late, bro. Long as you here, you here. Um, I'm gonna say something to you, uh, Romero. Don't worry. Man, why you, why you ain't putting no pictures up? Yeah, I ain't seen a picture from you in a minute, man. What you been up to, man? You ain't been fishing? She so started to say, I care a knife for that reason. Man, let me tell you something. If I got to, if I got to cut a doggone fish, I mean, a snake with a knife, I don't have a bad day. What is up, home boy? What's up? Hey, man, you look like a... Uh, <laughs> you look like you can go hunting or you getting ready for the hunger game which one nah i just uh had to wipe to get the paint off my face i was spraying today so i just decided to put some camo on <laughs> oh i hear you bro you doing all right man yep tell the folks who you are hey what's up this is uh camo joe fishing with camo joe i got a youtube channel uh thanks for letting me on here again yarbo Django. Hey man, listen Three. up. <laughs> Once you down with them boys, you down with them boys, bro. You might uh, well just go and put a shirt on, boy. That's how I feel. Bro. <laughs> I was looking at, I was looking at uh, <laughs> one. I think uh, what's the name? Uh, I was posting them on uh, Facebook the other day. It was like a black uh, and blue. And... Uh, I don't know about that one. I'm no, that alone. Oh, all right. I, I, I talked to you about that one. That ain't got nothing to do with me. But uh, don't don't buy one. I will send one your way. All right. Yeah. You know what? I, I feel like this right here. Wow! You look okay. out. You look out, and you a good. You a good friend to the channel, man. I feel like you deserve a t-shirt. You know what I'm saying? There you go. Right. You ain't right. buying no t-shirt for me, man. Especially when you you getting folk free, good info too. The yep. top of the day, bro, is uh spawning. No, not really spawning, but where to find them. Okay. Let them let them know what's up, man. Where you gonna find them crappy at right now? 
right now. Uh, yeah. well, you I'm know what? Before. As many details as you can possibly give. The reason why, because we got people out here that's fishing on the bank, boat, uh, private lakes, ponds. You got all these different scenarios, but it's got to be some kind of what's the word I'm looking for? Uh, correlation between catching fish, no matter where you are, particularly cra crappy. So if you had to give any advice, what would you tell them? I'm looking for the shallow flats. You know, I'm looking for something in the part of a lake that's going to warm up first. Like the north, the north end of the lake is usually going to warm up first. But why? Why is that? Uh, because of the. I think it's because of the uh the way the sun rises and sets. Right. You know, depending on where you are, but like um, it tends to be like in a couple of lakes that I know, the north end always had the sun on the longest. Yeah. Not only that, you know, you know something else a lot of people ain't considering. Like down here, uh, the water is muddy right now, man. So when you got muddy water, you're dealing with muddy water, that water going to um, it's going to generally up warm up way faster than clear water. You know what I'm saying? Right, right. So you need, need to take that into consideration too. So especially like um, you guys that have a late spawn and um you waiting a couple of weeks uh before they start that thing up you might want to consider going out there and trying them man because you know with water i mean uh muddy water condition and stuff like that they may it just may push that transition a little ahead of time you know what i'm saying yeah as far as the temperature of the water yeah yeah because yeah. that's all it is that's all it's really about that spawn is the water temperature you know what i'm saying that's the catalyst that set them off you know what i mean yeah, that's the that's what they're looking for or waiting on, kind of like a signal for them to just it's it's that time. They know it's time, but for survival, you know, it's it's the water temperature. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Uh, what am I finna say? I saw Derek came in, but he um, I'm gonna I'm a kick him out, kick him out right now. He'll come back in later. But yeah, man, um. I've been. I, I said I had a number of people ask me, "Say where we catching fish yet? Where we catching fish?" And I'm gonna be honest with you, I hadn't really been fishing. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Uh, you know, I noticed last week. This was my first time on there. I can't see what's going on in the chat. You can't. From, nah, from right here. Oh, I tell you what, then. Uh, Y'all see my country behind? Sit up, man. What? Hmm? <laughs> what you talking about? <laughs> Out of <laughs> I didn't even notice that. <laughs> and you put the lid back up. Yeah, <laughs> put the lid back up just because I knock it over. You know what I'm saying? Everything gonna be all right. <laughs> but uh, you know, a lot of times if you really if you want to see that chat, man, just open it up on if you got a tablet or something, just open up the tablet. You can see it. It's a um, you'll see where we went, we we went live, and then you just open up from there. Oh, okay. What like yeah. on a device or something? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, just double whammy it like that right now. But I can do this right here for you. Let's see what Miss Liz says. She says, I carry a 38 for snakes. I'm going <laughs> to win. Miss <laughs> 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 Liz, I'll change. Yeah. How about? Yeah. Call him chewing on something. <laughs> He's like, let me. He's like, hey, man, I wasn't ready. <laughs> he wasn't ready. <laughs> Hey, what, ready. What's going on, fellas? How y'all doing? Doing hey, man, good. Having fun, bro. Good, man. I'm trying to finish up this dinner, man. My apologies for for uh, eating eating in front of you guys. Man, these guys don't care nothing about you eating, man. <laughs> <laughs> hey, they they probably they probably wish they had some, you know. <laughs> yeah. Hey, you went fishing today, bro? Yeah, I did, man. I knew you did. <laughs> yeah. Somebody was just asking about Clark's Hill, man. I said, "Doing, man." Yeah, I heard that. I heard that. Um, yeah, Clark Hill, man. You know, I'm a little biased, but I think it's one of the best lakes in the state. Um, you know, it can. It's seventy-two thousand acres. It's it's a large lake, but uh, you can do, you can do anything you want to do: dock shooting, long line, pull crankbaits, uh, live scope, docks. You know, all that, man. So. 
but yeah, it's it's good right now, man. The fish are. You remember a couple weeks ago, I said spring is not my favorite time, and <laughs> today is one of those reasons why, man, because it was it was tough. It they was didn't tough. get to fight now, that did No, no, I'm just saying the fishing was tough. Oh, fishing <laughs> was tough. Yeah, it was um, it was pretty bad. Like uh, yesterday, we caught our limit. Well, I caught my limit in about two hours. But today, Dang. man, when I got off work, I, I, you know, I, I had to work for for a limit today. Yeah, a fish had moved about two hundred yards from where I caught him yesterday, in about twelve foot of water. But I think there's another wave going to come to the banks. Is what I think is happening right now. So we'll see. What's your water temperature? It got up to seventy one today. Where I was. What? At. Dang. Yeah. Yeah, I, <laughs> I think it's still 60 down here, though. That's yeah, odd, having, man. You know, we've been having them 80-degree days, you know, and it did get cold last night, so it didn't drop a lot. So things like that will uh, trigger uh, trigger them to go to the bank pretty quick. Yeah. Did it heat up when the sun started? Did you, you went uh, after work, so it was already it was already dark? Yeah, it was it was already pretty, uh, okay. pretty warm when I got there, but it's it's been about uh it's been averaging like 60 61 to 65 but uh you know when it when it get 80 degree days you know it's, it don't take long like like you guys said that muddy water go warm up quick so yeah. i was in yeah. stained water i wanted muddy water but i was in stained water yeah so if your water stained man i mean so i haven't been fishing i went uh matter of fact uh me and Lope did go fishing um where we go? We went to uh, Sin City, man. And uh, man, y'all ain't gonna believe this crap, man. We were fishing with corks, man. Uh, I was fishing with corks, live minnows, and uh, I had a couple of game day jigs. Man, you wanna know what I caught, man? Large mouth catfish. I'm talking about in shallow water, man, like three, four foot of water catching just catfish just dropping me, man. What is going on? They spawning too? They probably chasing them crappie. <laughs> but they were small, man. You know what I mean? Yeah, I don't I don't think they spawning yet. Um, but you know it's a tremendous amount of bait that's moving too. So they probably they probably chasing that bait just like the crappy doing. Yeah. Hey guys, in the chat. Do me a great favor, man. Give me a couple of you right here. Thumbs up. <laughs> Let me see. Give me some of these right here. <laughs> some of these right here. Some of these. Give me all of them, man. Give me everything except egg plants. And y'all know what I'm, what I'm, what I'm talking about. <laughs> Give me all that, man. I'll wait. Yeah, man. Uh, we went out there, man. I had so much fun. What is it about going fishing with a cork and you see that cork go down, man? I'm talking about, man. I don't care if you sitting there, all right, if you jigging, right, and that and you jigging and then a, a fish catch, 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 catch uh, they catch you off guard and you set the hook, you know, that feels good, man. But it still don't feel nowhere as good as when you see that cork. Let me see if I can get it on camera. That's that barber, right? That joke say. <laughs> I gotta have it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I think, I'm uh, not like, is, man. Nothing like that, bro. Yeah, it it um uh, for me anyway, it kind of reminds me of my childhood. You know, mm. a cork going under the water, man, is is you know something that that's a, that's a that's a memory you never forget. And the more you can recreate that. You know, we get all fancy and stuff with boats and all this. Most of us probably started out with five-gallon buckets, Zepco 33s, and a, and a bucket of worms. And I was lucky if I got minnows. But yeah, yeah. so hey, hey, hey there, digging the worms up. You know what I'm saying? Oh yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Keeping oh, yeah. the over and using the back of your foot, open that ground up a little bit, keeping the red red wigglers out of there. Yeah, we I had some, all that, man. We had Turning some over pots planter pots and picking up worms off of, out of that whatever was laid in the backyard for a while you can turn that over and get them they, they were laying right up under that 
Dog, we had a we had a piece of tin man in the back of the house. You lay it on the ground and you get an old mustard jar, kind of like on like this right there, pickle jar right here. Old mustard jar. You put warm water in, shake it up, you just pour it on the ground right now. Next week you got some baits, homie. Huh. I'm talking about forever. Every time you go back there, you're gonna have some bait, man. Some That's tin. how I, I remember my uncle Frank. He's uh Mo Fish's granddaddy, man. He used to go down there to Mule Jackson Pond. And uh, I don't care that thing with two finger wide, it, it going in the butt. <laughs> mm -hmm. Now getting back to the uh, to the cork fishing, that's my favorite way to fish for crappie too. I always yep. got at least two poles with with uh, tied up with slip floats on them. Why is that? That's your just per personal preference, man. Yeah, yeah. Why you like it like that? I can stay in the strike zone for as long as I want to. Once I find the depth that they sitting at, mm -hmm. I'm, I'm gonna stay on them. And I, I set it a foot above where they are, you know, so that they're at ten feet. I put it at nine. Yeah. Well, I'm asking <coughs> this, man. <clears throat> are you using live bait? Or are you using? Well, I know you using I'm mostly, jigs. Yeah, I'm mostly using jigs. You five, six, five, right? five, 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 yeah. Rarely do I use minnows because they're yeah. so expensive out here in California. Why? California. Y'all eat them, man? <laughs> Everything expensive. Anchovies. <laughs> <laughs> Sound like a large cheese shine of pizza. Nah. How much is a dozen minnows out there? Uh, I think it's it varies from at least, I want to say, uh, from nine to about probably 15 bucks. What for, for a dozen? For a dozen minnows, yeah. Oh my god. Yeah, I wouldn't yeah. fish with no minnows. We in the wrong business, ain't we home, boy? <laughs> yeah. And Damn, you man. you can't ship them to California. I tried that, like checking out minnow farms and stuff. You gotta have a bait license. So I'm uh, I don't know. I might have to California is something special, boy. Yeah, it is. Hmm. Got a lot of restrictions on the water too, like for uh evasive species and stuff like that. We don't want them, you know. What is those razor zebra mussels and stuff? What's that? You ain't never, you know, you never heard of a zebra mussel? Uh oh, -uh. uh, well, they just uh, basically they'll take over the whole bottom of a lake when they, uh, if your lake gets infected with them. So it'd be like no more, uh, no what? soil on there. Uh, they like clean the rocks, the docks, and stuff like that. So you'll basically lose like your algae and plant growth. Man, you need to hurry up and come to Georgia, then, bro. <laughs> you got, you got, you got pitfalls that we don't even think about. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But the worst you're gonna get out here, man, you're gonna get on the boat and you're gonna say, "Don't, man, I love my cigarette." <laughs> Ain't no beer in the cooler. You know what I'm saying? That's, yeah. that's the kind of problem they had out here in Georgia, man. You know what I'm saying? Huh. We don't, we don't worry about no zebra, algae, and mussels, and none of that. <laughs> you know what I mean? We just go fishing. Yeah. And it's just so many places you can go. I'm talking about even a place like the property that I'm managing, man. It's probably 12 lakes out there. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. All of them beautiful. <laughs> All of them got fish in them, man. Yeah, I've been thinking about uh, maybe uh, moving out of California. I don't know, though. It's uh, it's special, but it's it's just too expensive out here. And it's, man, I don't know. My cousin, uh, Anthony. He stayed over there pretty much where you where you I forget the name of the city. It's not on the Oakland side of the bridge, it's on the Frisco side of the bridge over there. But I forget yeah. what it is. I hate to get off topic, man, but I, I remember when I pulled in there, what was so odd. We went, we were downtown. I was like, something ain't right, man. What something, you know, you know how something just it kind of irks you, man. You don't understand what it is. So I'm just riding around for hours and stuff, and I just couldn't wrap my head around what is wrong. You know what I'm saying? Then I realized something. I went to a Burger King. Everybody at the Burger King was Chinese. <laughs> I said, ain't no black people out here, man. <laughs> I started laughing. I saw a black guy. I said, hey, man, where are the black people at? He said, man, you got to go across the bridge, man, to Oakland, man. That's where all the black people at over there, man. I said, what? I didn't know it like that, man. But he stayed over there in Frisco, man, and uh, and this guy stayed in a little bitty apartment, man. I think he was paying like thirty five hundred dollars a month, man. No yeah. AC, none of that stuff, man. Just and the we, bare minimums. 
I'm talking about gas. He he ride around with a dog on. I mean, he ride around on a uh, what's some things? Uh, the Chevy, not the Yukon, the other one, the big truck SUV. It's a bourbon. Man, paying four hundred, not four dollars and sixty some cent a gallon gas, man. Yeah. I told him, I said, dude, when you gonna leave and come to Georgia? <laughs> I said, for what you paying rent, man, you can then stay in a mansion, man. Yeah, for real. I'm talking about, man. Then he moved to, and then he moved to Atlanta. I think he stayed in Douglasville. That joke almost stay in a mansion, man. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. From where he was paying living in California. Like, oh, yeah. You know, well, I guess that's why a lot of people are moving to Atlanta from from uh, Cali. You know? Yeah, they moving out of here. Yeah. They moving to Texas. They moving anywhere. <laughs> Three hundred thousand dollar house over there in Cali. You you pretty much almost in the hood. You know what I'm saying? Three hundred thousand dollars in Georgia, man. Yeah. You in um, what's that? Where where um, Will Smith come from? <laughs> Beverly Hills, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I'm talking about showing up, man. Hmm. You you talking about five six thousand square feet houses, man? You know, brand yeah. new. Yeah. But yeah, man. Um, I um. Uh, I enjoyed it a little bit, man, but uh, it just a little bit too much for me, man. You know what I'm saying? You got to Cali, one of them places, man. It's, it's too spread out. And I don't know, man. I, I'm a country boy. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. Too spread out, man. You know what I'm saying? I mean, it's one of those places where I'm a you country can do boy. something once in your whole lifetime. And and heart, but I ain't, you know what I mean? <laughs> I, so wanna, what? I said I'm a country boy in my heart. <laughs> Hard to be cut uh, in, 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 uh, in body because it just it's ain't Cali, man. It just you know it's beautiful though. If you ain't never been to California, man, yeah, you, yeah, you, you don't want to go nowhere else. <laughs> well, let me say this: San Diego, San Diego, yeah, San Diego. It ain't it ain't the beautifulest place, but the wave is never hot, never cold. You know what I'm saying? It's just perfect. You know what I mean? But yeah, man, we on here today talking about uh where to find them spawning the crap at there, uh him. And um my advice is this right here, because I had a lot of people asking me, man. And uh I'm gonna bring something out too, man. I had a guy hit me up on Messenger a little while ago. Matter of fact, let me let me pull it up. Uh da -da 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 pull it up. Uh he said, check this out. That's his name right there. Can you guys see it? Let me see. All right. Yeah. Chris Johnson, Christopher Johnson. Y'all know Chris Johnson, man? I don't think I do. I might be friends with him. I don't know. Y'all see that? Y'all see that tape measure down there, right? Yeah. yeah. That's a 15 inch crappy, man. Yeah. So this is what he said. He said, Hey bro, I can show you a lake where they all this big. 30 minutes from making it con you. I just started laughing. I said. Now I know that brother know I'm a sky. <laughs> <laughs> if you show me a lake full of 15 inch crab 30 minutes from making, man, you ain't gonna never be able to see me go fish that in peace, but you're gonna see me there every every other day. <laughs> right? I said I, I, he he must not know me. You know what I'm saying? But uh hold yeah. on, let me open it back up. He said, uh, and Kanye, I said, really? I'm interested. He said this weekend's I'm he said this weekend I'm catching them from the bank. So everybody is uh at 30 a day. It's a 600 acre lake. He said the only product? thing is say no gas motor. He said, I promise you, if the bite is on, you will not be disappointed. I haven't caught anything less than 13 inches. Mm. And then he tell me what the name of the lake is. And I'm not gonna share that with you, man, because you know what I'm gonna do, don't you? <laughs> You yeah. already know I'm going there. Oh yeah, oh yeah. He he gave the invite, so go check it out, man. It sounds like it. I like I like fishing ponds and small lakes, man. It, I I got a little John boat just for that. Mm -hmm. I I I actually I actually enjoyed it a lot, and it's it's very well possible it could be one of those places that just growing big, man. He said he just opened it up last year, so I can understand why the fish is big right now. Yeah, it probably needs to be fish, you know. Say what? No, that was my that was my phone. Oh, okay. I went to the chat and it was funny. Yeah, I thought somebody was talking. Like, who that guy? That was Derek. Yeah. 
Yes. Well, yeah, man. Everybody catching fish, man. But they they talking about two, three foot of water, man. What you guys say? Well, I've I've been seeing people fish the banks, and I and I call myself watching them pretty close. I didn't. I haven't seen anybody really do very very well fishing the banks. I've like uh, these past few trips I've been on. I still been catching some my best fish in twenty foot of water. Female still full of eggs, so that's that's why I tell you, man. I don't, man, this fish moved so much, man. It's it's I don't know. I don't know what to say about the spring, man. It's fun when it's fun, but when it's tough, it's tough. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know no better way to say it, man. Man, I ain't paid no attention to the doggone chat, man. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I was trying to check it out, man. Shout out to the shout out to the chat, man. He's forgetting about it. He be reading the chat, man. I be sitting, I be knowing the chat, man. Like hundred people to say something, man. Like, I'm over here at the top, man, reading it and putting on it, man. Like I, I said, man. Oh, I got to scroll down, man. I'm scrolling down, man. I missed everybody. Look here, y'all. Let me go ahead and apologize, man. Uh, I'm over here running my mouth. I ain't been watching the chat, man. So. Let, let me kind of go to the bottom, man, and see what you guys are talking about, man. Because I, I don't, <laughs> oh my goodness, man, I got to scroll all the way down here. Dang. Yeah, all right, I, here we go. Here we go. I think I got it up. Let me check it Chris out. Chris Johnson too. say, I'm going to try to go backwards and, and get something in there. Chris Johnson says, say, say, been getting big, boy, 15 feet from the bank, two to four feet deep. I figured that. I figured that. You know. Which lake, Chris? No, oh, no, no, don't. Hey, Chris, don't tell this guy. Don't tell him. Oh, he that's, don't want to tell That's him. him. That's no, the man, one. That's the secret lake, man. <laughs> that's oh, the okay. secret lake. That's his name. Look at his name. Chris Johnson. <laughs> okay, my bad. Yeah. <laughs> hey, we give that in the private chat, homeboy. <laughs> yeah, Chris, keep that to yourself, man. Yeah, we don't want nobody. We don't want nobody. Until I catch me a limit. When I catch a limit, you can give it away then. It say uh, 10 foot for me, Saturday on tap, Travis Wood. Man, everybody going out of tap and tearing them up. That's, That's another place, man. You know, you you go there, bro. It's gonna be a million folk. Everybody want to go to town. Everybody. Frank say, so I haven't caught crappy bank fishing yet this year, but managed to catch catfish right on the bank. Hey, man, my condolences, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, it seems I ain't, like I ain't, I ain't taking that from you, man. But I, I really don't like catching catfish, man. And that's what I caught last weekend, man. They just kept biting me, man. I hate it. <laughs> Black Rain say, "Cool, what are you talking about? Cool." So I got to go back and find all this stuff. These jokes in here talking. I don't know what's going on, man. <laughs> so that's seems why I like need people, on here, man. Seems like most people are fishing. Uh, relatively shallow water from what i'm looking at at the comments which makes perfect sense i mean this spawning season for us right now so hopefully hopefully i can get them shallow because what what i used to do years ago in the big open flats is uh put corks on my rods while i'm trolling mm. so you fishing in like eight foot flat right i mean like it would be two three hundred yards number eight foot so the best way to approach that is just to put corks on your lines and just long line as if those corks aren't on there. You know, go relatively slow, like 0.8 or 0.9, but those corks keep the bait in the strike zone, like you say, Camo. Yeah. Man, you talking about fun. That, <laughs> that, is, that, is, that is pretty fun right there. Hey, look at Judicial, y'all. I didn't even see that. Judicial said, y'all know what I was talking about. Uh, San Francisco, they had no black people. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't say that. I ain't gonna say that. Judicious said, "Look, look, Judicious said, said the opposite in Atlanta, though." So I was like, "Well, all the white people." Is. <laughs> <laughs> hey, look here, man. That's a hey, when you go to the a home, but that's what you gonna see, man. But I Chocolate mean, for real, soup. man. We went across that Golden Gate Bridge, man. That's the only time we saw the black people, man. Am I so, lying though? You actually came to Oakland. No, I ain't go to Oakland, man. You crazy, man? Oh, I don't know about no Oakland, man. Hey, when I went down, man, all you hear, don't go to Oakland. Don't go to Oakland, man. But you asking where all the black people are. <laughs> right. What you, you know, scared of? No, I ain't scared, man. I'm just saying. You know, when you're in Rome, people say do this. But that's what we were staying there. I was trying to tell you. I forget the name of the place that we were. 
where we were staying. It wasn't Frisco, but it's right there at Frisco. What's the name of uh, a place? It's Another like city that's close? Thing. Huh? San Rafael? No, that wasn't no San Rafael. Uh, San Bruno? Uh-uh. Hmm. To, I don't know. Well, South San Francisco. Oh yeah, that's still San Francisco. <clears throat> yeah, but I actually had a great time, man. Um, San Mateo. Chance to come back out here. You gonna you gonna <laughs> take me on a tour, bro? If you come out here, yeah. Yeah, man. Yeah. Yeah, I definitely want to get to Clear Lake, man. Yeah, they just started. Uh, they just started spawning up there. I haven't gone. I just got uh my ear to the ground. So I let's fly out there. Derek. <laughs> Man, hey, things things tough right now, brother. I can't fly nowhere. <laughs> hey, hey, let's get some sponsors, man. Hey, man, one of y'all sponsors, uh, me and uh, dear, uh, fly to Oak. I go, I go in the heartbeat. Uh, somebody pay my ticket. Go with uh, Camo Joe, man. Go to Clear Lake, kissing them. Uh, what you call it? Zebra core. What you call it? <laughs> nah, man. We trying to we trying to keep the zebra muscles out. We have like you know regulations and stuff at the boat launches. Like you know you can't like launch your boat if your boat has been wet. You know. Yeah, it's, it's they they like that up north too. I heard. Yeah. Like Minnesota and places. Sammy yeah. probably know what I'm talking about. Yeah, when you get your boat out the water, you gotta rinse drain it, it up. dry it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. This we haven't seen that issue too much down here. Not that uh, so I see in the comments. I see in the comments. Uh, Chris asks, "What color jigs are they hidden in clear water?" He said he's using white on white. So I haven't been fishing in clear water. Um, I stray away from clear water, and the reason the reason why is I just catch more fish in stained water. Um, but the colors I've been using is. Um, a color called ugly green it's like a oh that's that one that kermit frog green you showed me yeah yeah man I'm telling <laughs> you, man that's a hey i ordered two thousand of them jokers a couple weeks ago so i got enough to just go last me a while you put but, work uh, in though man yeah that's a good jig but that's the color <laughs> i've been using chris but uh in clear water um there's a color called monkey milk a, a lot of different bait companies make it uh, it's got pepper flakes in it. That that's pretty good in clear water. So get that a try. Of course, you say you catch them on white on white. So hey, that's good color too. Yeah, anything natural really in yeah. in, in the clear water. That's what I, I tend to see. Yeah, yeah. I think that's the that's the anything that yeah it looks like a minnow that's white or you know yeah something that could crawl that. Yeah. Yeah, when it's tough, princess, man. she said, just checking in. Three P stopping by to say hello. What's up, three P? <laughs> I guess she's working tonight, man. We're gonna have to get on here, man. Uh I'm gonna get her to tell me where that secret location is. She called them crappy that day. Uh, oh yeah. Uh, Cause they had a gas motor on that on that boat when they went on that lake. Cash, Cash said he was. Yeah, he did he say know he where know where that was, didn't he? Yeah, Cash know where it's at. Hmm. I ain't gonna go down there and take a spot though, man. <laughs> I, I bet I will. She be, she be talking about it, man. Them boys came there and cut all my fish. <laughs> hey, look, hey, look here. Hey, she she show up uh, there. I want to even make eye contact with. Her. <laughs> <laughs> I be looking all up in the sun. I had tears in my eyes. Hey, I'm sorry. You should never show her. You know what I mean? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. She told me I said, nope, not going to happen. Yeah, it is. <laughs> hey, <laughs> you wait. Me and um, and Chris, hey, Chris, both messed up to him. Say, hey, Chris, let's go over that three speed spot, man, and catch them 13 right quick, man. <laughs> he, he said he knew exactly where that bank is. Yeah. Uh, Miss Liz say, what's a crawdad lure? <laughs> uh, she may be talking about, or he may be My talking crayfish. about the color. Yeah, I'm talking about the color of a like something natural, like a minnow, a, cray, a crayfish, crawdad, yeah. uh, bugs, something that you see in the water or where you're fishing, you know. Yeah. In that clear water, that's what's going to be the ticket. Because yeah. we don't, we don't, we don't really have clear. I mean, uh, stained water here. 
that much. Yeah, it's always clear until the rain. Like we first get our first in the in the rainy season, then the you know the the uh, the water, the rain's coming down the hills with the mud and all that stuff. So the shores, and then next thing you know, the whole lake is a little stained. But after a couple of weeks, it's back to clear again. Yeah, yeah. She said, uh, <clears throat> she said, yeah, don't take my spot. I had to drive right through your boat. <laughs> 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 hey, look here, man. Check this out, man. I was reading that. I, I, I know we're getting our point, but not really our point. I was reading that link you sent me. In. When was it? Last week or early this week about the DNR restocking yeah. and stuff. Man, it don't cost nothing to restock, but the thing about it is, when you read when you read the restocking fish, it's only brim, catfish, and largemouth bass. They don't say anything about crappie. Yeah, and the reason the reason most people don't stock crappie is because they're so prolific. I mean, you, that's why. Oh, I say, whoa, man, whoa, 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 whoa! You ain't just slide by that word, that not prolific. <laughs> I'm talking about he. Went, hey, look here, he went way down there. <laughs> Crappy or prolific. <laughs> okay. Go ahead. So, you you brought that one up, man. All right, let me break it down then. <laughs> Y'all crazy. <laughs> the crappy spawn a lot. And they, they spawn, they, they have a lot of babies. And and uh most of them, a good percentage of them make them so if make them to, to adult, you know, to to grown fish. So that means um they're gonna take over you know, the whole lake and what's called stunning. Uh, like my pond down the street from my house here, you know, it's real small. It's way smaller than yours, Django, uh, the one you're managing. But, I mean, it's thousands and thousands of crap in there, but they all, the biggest I ever caught maybe was an eight inch. You know, I, 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 caught, I caught one bigger, but I believe that's one that I actually put in there. And, and that's why I say, man, you, you really want to get a good uh, picture of, the health of the pond now before you start putting stuff in there that's and you probably seen that in that article man that's one of the most important things because if it was that easy to just put fish in there then you know everybody would have great ponds and great lakes but it, you got to you got to take into account a whole lot of different stuff so and I got well, a, you know got they, a, they want you if you're gonna stock a lake they they prefer that you stock one with no fish meaning drain it and start over. I'm like yeah. man, I'm gonna start over, man. I want because they say you put them in there, you do them a feed the other fish, you know. Yeah, yeah, I got a I good no friend. With that. Yeah, I got a good friend that's that's actually a biologist, but he's in South Carolina. So I sent him the message after our meeting, and he's trying to find me somebody that I can contact in Georgia. They can they can help us out because mm. they may be able to come and do a uh, electroshock of the pond, and that'll uh, give you a uh, that'll give you an idea of what's in there now without draining it. Because you may see, man, this this thing is healthy. I don't need to do nothing to it. Now, electroshock mm -hmm. it just it just temporarily paralyzes and then it go yeah. back go fish. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you can I watch. Can't, I can't do that myself. <laughs> Hey. You might be on the trigger too long or something. <laughs> All I'm saying is leave it and to the, the professionals. <laughs> hey, go to hey, go down the road, man. All you do is smell fried fish. <laughs> Whatever. All it all it lake up. Jingles. Frank fish, he say, uh, <laughs> let me see. I got a couple of guys say. Tony say we have a couple of lakes around here where there is no limit on crappy, but there is a lot of small ones. Yeah, that's what we're getting at, man. Uh, <clears throat> like my boss said, they prolific, man. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> they take over, bro. You know what I'm saying? So you know when you get them, you get them situation where you know you got them small fish. You dealing with them prolific crappy, home boy. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> hey, look here, man. I think I'm gonna abandon phenomenal. And uh, I'm gonna pick up prolific, bro. <laughs> <laughs> that one right there got a little bit more shine on. It. You welcome to it, man. You welcome. To it. <laughs> yeah, we got a we got a pond. It's actually a reservoir on Fort Gordon. Uh, this the this one of the water sources for the for the post. And um, years years ago, probably over 20 years ago, it was it was great crappy fishing in there, 
but they only opened it up like once a month and then they what? stopped well because it was the reservoir for the water source they didn't oh, want, okay, okay you okay. know they didn't want people well people was abusing it leaving trash everywhere and stuff so you know how that go so they closed yeah. it for a while nobody nobody fished in it legally some people were sneaking in there but um now what we found out these past couple of years is those crappy that used to be real good size and they actually caught a four pounder out of there years ago now now it's i mean i i went in there and fished a little small tournament in my jar boat and i caught a hundred and man i bet you them things want 20 pounds man it was, they was all just so small man but they wanted you to keep them and i just told them i was like look i could fish this thing every day for a year i ain't go out you ain't go you ain't go out fish a doggone pond you got to do something else so that's one of the things you got to consider man um you may you may can do um uh not not gill netting but it's another kind of uh sort of trap that they use for crappy um where they put it on the bank at an angle and the crappy swim at night and they get caught in it but hold on hold on hold on hold on you say gilled not a not a gill net no not a gill net a gill net is for uh other that's gonna that's gonna kill them yeah that'll definitely kill them but that the trapping thing i'm talking about uh, I don't know the name of the, the actual. It's a it's a metal like chicken wire looking thing, and you can you can do it that do that also if mm. you can find one. I haven't seen one in forever, but if you can find one, that'll be something good to put in there. Like you can put it in there and, and let it soak for a couple of days and then go back, and you can see what's in there, you know. <laughs> so there's a few options. Oh, start to say I'm gonna make a low country ball with them fit when we shock them. <laughs> <laughs> oh, three P say, have you guys tried uh Jackson Lake? You know, they were Chris fish all the time. <coughs> Jackson up there. <clears throat> hey, I used to have a property Jackson. up there, man. I let it go, man. Uh uh. But uh you don't hear re- you don't really hear many people talking about Jackson, man. Everybody keep talking about coming down to Oconee and places like that, man. But I already know Jackson probably full of monsters. You know what I'm saying? You just got to go up there and fish them. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Um, but I may I may get up there, but I don't I don't think it's easier driving getting to Jackson than it is getting to Oconee. So I don't know. It, it it if I if Chris invite me up, I may go like that. But if it's gonna take me an hour or so to get there, I might wait to go to Oconee. You know what I mean? What about that lake down there? Where y'all live? Uh, to- Tobascoby or whatever the name of it is. <laughs> you talking about that dead lake, man? <laughs> yeah. At, you sure. know what, man? It's, it's a lot of people, man, say we sleeping on tow boat. I'm be honest with you, I've, I've caught fish out of that, man, but they so elusive, man. Um, it's aggravating. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. They have they have an excellent spot. Like if you if you put in an arrowhead, they have uh lower Thomaston Thomaston Bridge. Behind it is a job. It's just a big flat man and this it averages about 10 feet it should be an excellent spot to get out there and troll but you know hit or miss you go out there man and literally won't even see anything show up on your dog on fish fine you know what i mean but you got guys that go out there to hit those coals way in the back back there and they wear them out you know what i'm saying but it ain't like you can do that all year long it's just like during this time of year you can go out there and make it happen sometimes you know what i'm saying yeah or it's, it's one of them situations where you go around there, they won't do nothing in the daytime, but at night, lighted corks, they on fire. You know what I'm saying? It hmm. just, it's, it just, it's, I really hate it. You know what I'm saying? Uh, Lope, he don't like it either. You know, uh, before we got on this Oconee tip, you know, we used to go to Tobo a lot, man. And um, you would catch some quality fish out there, man, but it was like, you know, once you get on that that um that limit tilt, man, it's hard going fishing, man, and coming home with eight, ten. You know what I'm saying, man? Yeah. Please, you know. Yeah, I'm uh, with you on that. You can you can go out there and catch them. I'm just show you how bad it is at Tobo, though. Just like you know, at the dam, right? They got a spillway below the dam. If a person was to come back the next day, say I caught ten fish on the spillway, right? The next day you go to the spillway, it literally be 150 people on the bank. 
That's yeah. how bad that lake is, man. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's becoming everywhere, though. Vincent Carter said there's not enough cover in Tobo to me. Man, it ain't enough fish in Tobo for me. Yeah, Uh-oh, Pink Horn Prince say, Miss Liz, yes, it's southwest of Madonna. You're going to make a friend with all the women. <laughs> Leave me Liz alone, 3P. She's alone. <clears throat> I got my jigs from uh, game day, man. What'd you get? This the money maker right here. Huh. Ooh, probably, I, I like that. I probably shouldn't even show it. Yeah, <laughs> I like that. Yeah. I'm I telling like you, that. man. It, what, he, he trimmed the tail on it? You told him to do that? No. Nah. Hold that up one more time. You see how he put that trim on that tail? What do you mean trim? You see how he got it cut on an angle? It don't look like it's feather. It's like it trim. Yeah, I don't know how he do it. I ain't never tried time. No, that's just the bend of the feather. Oh, is oh, it? Okay. He just got it going going up to follow the, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah. Instead of down. Some some people put their feathers on a little different. Yeah, I don't know how to do it. Y'all be showing, but <laughs> yeah. Hey, you can hook from one of them cam hooks. <laughs> chemically chemically sharp chemically sharp specially made just for me but sammy hell the other day that's it sammy hey i just i was just talking crap i ain't mean for you to go in on the dude you know what i'm saying yeah. hey hey come on i was just on that talking about man uh with uh look come kind of suck mc i was just yeah. playing around Sammy, he gonna get locked up <laughs> hey, you gonna tell all the man Hey. Chain, <laughs> Here's another one he sent me, man. This this go be money in the bank. Uh, I don't know what color he called it, but I'm gonna call it Wildcat. Cause Wildcat, look, uh, don't it look like Wildcat? Yeah, you know, Wildcat curly curly tail. What is that rap two times, man? Or that man, just one rap? I don't know. It look good though. I don't yeah. know nothing about no hand ties, but I'm gonna put these to the test this week. We'll see how strong they are. What was that? An orange? An orange head? Orange head, yeah. Yeah. Orange yeah. Head. Okay. Yeah, it's it, it got some good looking stuff, man. Yeah, hey, man, I got you something, man. How you get your jig before I get my jig? Well, I'm gonna have to have a talk with Sammy, I'm, man. I'm, I'm say, listen here, man. Uh, he probably, he I ordered, ordered way before, before very you did. <laughs> what, what did you say, Joe? So he probably ordered them way before you did. Uh, hey. Don't, <laughs> don't take up for Sammy, man. You know what I'm saying? Nah, don't even take, take up, up for this guy. Take up for Dick. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, Sammy, Sammy did a great job, man. He going to make sure your stuff right. That's 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 for sure. Because he was texting me pictures. And I was like, Sammy, man, I'm going I'm to use it. He was like, man, I want to make sure it's right. I was like, all right. And then this <laughs> yeah. a green on green on green. I'm going to call it the Green Lantern. Uh, it's got some gold, <laughs> some gold in some it. Gold in it. What's that? One sixty fourth. Thirty second. One thirty second. Yeah. Oh, wait a minute. Hold on. That them look little. Yeah, this thirty second. It it feel like, but I got a special place. Did Liz this. say, "Oh, uh, see, where did you get your jigs from?" Miss Liz, uh, those jigs that Derek is holding up, they came from game day jigs to fly. But the guy right here in the middle. Camo Joe, he actually uh I makes did this for three uh, P for the, for three P like a couple months ago. <laughs> oh, you sent that to her right now? No, I'm, I'm I made them for her, but I ain't I ain't sent them to her. I got another one with white on it. Look, so look, I just went to the channel. I was like, she wants some pink something now. Hey, check yeah, this out, nice. Camo. Look at look at look what she just put up there. What? Oh, huh. <laughs> hey, Camo, can I purchase some? Yep. What you gonna do for her, man? I'm gonna hook her up. These are the up, bro. These are the three P's right here. It's gonna. <laughs> you heard that? These the three P's. Palm palm gonna hook you up. These are palm princesses. The Bayou Classic palm princesses. <laughs> That's what I like, man. I like when we come together as a community, man, and support each other, bro. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Because everything if she you got on, her up, man, all she gonna do is use your product, man, and showcase it yeah. to her viewers, man. And guess what? They're gonna say, Man, that's a nice jig. Where did you get it from? She gonna say, 
Cam. <laughs> no, <Harry> not Cam. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yay! Yay! <laughs> I was I was close yeah. to doing the video, man. I was gonna do a video with me. I wasn't gonna do Yank. I was gonna say something else. I can't remember what I was gonna say, but you should have yeah. did it, man. Why you yeah. didn't do it? I was catching fish too fast, man. I oh couldn't. man, put that camera on. <laughs> put that camera on, camera on man. <laughs> Boy, I thought I had a camera yesterday, though. I could have made an awesome TV show, boy. I was just, I was just on them. These are the, uh, the hey. 30 seconds I made it, too. I just seen them. Next time you go here. fishing, Derek, uh, yeah, it look good. let me on. know. And if I ain't doing it at home, man, I'll go live, man. And they can sit there. We'll sit there and rap, man, while you catch fish, man. You want, you want to do that, man? Uh, oh, you don't want to give away your location. <laughs> hey, look, 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 look. Don't listen. Don't 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 show the bank. Just show your face, and then when you catch one, just hold it up. You know what I'm saying? No, I can, I can go to some, I can go to some community spots where I don't care. Uh, you know, but it, we it's getting a little close to. We got a tournament on May the first. I think. Oh, I got you. I got you. So, but it's a little too early to find them now. Cause, Fish moving so much, but I'll let you know. I may do something this weekend. Yeah, I just I ain't gonna thought, go to this no Yeah, I, um, you know what? I be want to go live sometime, and I think about it. I said, oh, man, I said, what if I go live and don't kick me? <laughs> that I, gonna be awful, man. You know what I mean? Yeah, I remember I went live on uh, uh, it's a Facebook channel, um, Black American Outdoors. Yeah, I went live on that a few years ago, and I had, I was catching fish like every five seconds. As soon as I cut live on, it seemed like they knew it. Them jokers didn't do nothing, man. I think I might have <laughs> caught three. <clears throat> I was like, yeah, yeah, I ain't man. doing this no more. Oh, me Leah talking to three P. She said, uh, "Prince says that you have a YouTube channel that I want to join." Yeah, go check out Pink Palm Princess on YouTube. We're gonna bring on here one day. Hey, um, three P, when you gonna come back on here and talk to the ladies? Or oh, the fellas? We ain't, ain't ain't trying to exclude you. When we gonna talk to the people? Say so, well, thank you, Frank. Say I try to do a little something. I don't know what that's about. They must have something going on in the chat. But guys, everybody out there catching fish, man. Uh, Seem like the most shallow you can find them. I mean, the most shallow the water is, the better you're gonna find them. And uh, water warming up fast, and they taking every chance to get in that water and spawn, man. So uh, I don't know, guys. Uh, matter of fact, let me see if I can't do something. You want me to share my screen for a second? All right. Let me see. Uh, what is it? Bear with me for a second. Bam. Let me share my screen, man. Share screen. Oh, we got another sky coming up. We're gonna, we're gonna do that one right there. What's up, man? What's going on, fellas? Yeah, What's I'm up? sharing the screen for a second, man. I'm going to show these guys, you know. Uh, let me see if I can't go on here. Guys, I'm on Onyx, man. Uh, I know you guys haven't heard me talk about that in a while, man. But <clears throat> before I go fishing, a lot of times, especially if I'm going to scout an area, I scout it first digitally, man. And I, I pull the map up and see if I can't find a particular place where I can actually go and uh catch some fish well this area right here this is the lake i normally fish right here lake oconee let me see if i can't zoom in lake oconee let me zoom in zoom 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 my phone gonna die hey uh guys a lot of times, man, especially like if you listen to the chat now and you like, wait, where everybody going to find fish? You don't have to go with everybody's fishing, man. You know, 
do stuff like this, you know, especially if you got all these maps and stuff, man. Let me see if I can't find. Let me let me zoom out so I can see exactly where I'm going first. All right, where where am I located in here? This this Sugar Creek right here. All right, let me let me let me do this. Zoom in, zoom in. Okay. <coughs> Like this map here, you zoomed in. If if you're looking for a particular place to catch crappy man, you wanna you wanna try these flats out, especially like these 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 shallow areas. Like you know, I call shallow anything from twenty below. They kind of like shallow to me. You know what I'm saying? Let me turn this one off very quick. Uh, like this seventeen foot area here. That's 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 like coming off a a, a, a river channel. That's not that deep. But you're going to find these crappy. They're going to move off the creek channels going back toward the shallows. So basically what it is, you find these flat areas on the map. Go go toward the shallow sides of these, these, uh, these flats or either the mouths of creeks, you know, that's, that's coming on to the main lake where, mm -hmm. where, where it's flatted right there. Look for them areas right there, but in the shallow part. And definitely if you can't find shallow, they're going to be up against the bank, man. What you got to think about that? That's exactly yeah. what I would do right now. Yeah, that's exactly what I was trying to talking about when you asked me first. <laughs> yeah. Flat. But you know what you do is <laughs> go on these, go on this um, it's Onyx. It's actually Navionics, but you go on there and just click on the chart viewer. And uh, when you click on the chart viewer, it'll let you pull up any location in in the continental United States, and you can check these lakes out and get an area view of where you think. That these crappy will probably be, and then when you get on the lake, you don't be subjugated to fishing the same place that everybody else is fish. You can actually lead the main body, main uh, congregation of fish and fishermen, I should say, what's and the, move to a more secluded spot, man, and, and enjoy your fishing a whole lot more better. What's the depths under them docks over there? Well, that's, I don't think I'll be zoom in. That's what we can too. <laughs> exactly. What's well, the anytime you see these contour lines like this, you know, the color is telling you what well, my dark blue, the dark blue area is telling me that it's, it's a shallow area right there. And uh, uh, the more the contour lines are converged, that means it's more drop off. Yeah. So those areas there has got more of a steep bank versus a flat bank. Right. So if you find if you find a flat with less contour lines toward the uh the perimeter, that'll be a better spot, you know what I'm saying? Because like I said, they find them in two three foot of water you know what i mean mm -hmm. that'd be an excellent spot to you know just start you know uh finding these crappy man you know you don't really have to have somebody tell you well particular place to go you know you can actually find them on a map and i guarantee you they're gonna be there you know what i'm saying because yeah. it's the time of year that they <laughs> guaranteed to be in a spot like that and they'll they'll hide under them docks too per se depending on how hot it is or if the sun is up you know yeah Mm -hmm. yeah, midday they'll be they'll be hiding under your boat too <laughs> hey man it's funny that you say that but that actually does happen man you know what i'm saying you <laughs> you, you put your boat in the water they, they be under your shade you know what i'm saying just follow you everywhere you go you know yeah <laughs> what's up faraji musa what's going on what's, what's up? up tell the people who you are bro oh, i'm jay from family first making georgia on youtube and Roger Moose on Facebook. I'm sure y'all have seen the little the small fish I'll be posting every now and then. <laughs> <laughs> in, the, in the deal, I post two. I got three, three this year. Three this year, bro. Hey, man, I know you're going to help me out on, 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 on the lot, right? going to come out oh, yeah. and give me some partners, Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, I do whatever I, whatever I can help you with, I'll help you. Yeah, man. Uh, I'm going to actually uh, uh, get a trail cam between a couple of weeks man and go and put them out there just to see what's 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 happening out there you know what i'm saying and uh yeah just give me an idea what what the uh it's hot there. yeah the where, where, where is it in? what city is it in i i have to tell you off, off uh camera man oh, okay you ain't gonna start them fleas up when i see it <laughs> on the uh yeah. When I say it on the internet, you know what I'm saying? Everybody in their mom be calling, hey Django, can I come over there? No, you cannot. <laughs> yeah. No I fleas. got uh I got several cameras if if you need to use. I got I got cameras here with me right now. For real? I, I, I yeah, I already took mine out the woods, so 
I take them out when when the season ain't in. Well, so what kind do you use? You use the kind that actually had like the uh, SIM card in it, or you had to go out there with the Bluetooth? I I, I, I actually like the SIM card because them cell, you know, I hunt out in the country, <laughs> so them cell ones they don't pick up very well out there where I'm at. Okay. What'd you say? The cell ones? Yeah, the uh you know they got the ones that'll send you the picture. Oh, oh okay. Yeah. Yeah, got a SIM card in it, you know, like a phone. Yeah, so I just uh it'll send it it'll send a picture as soon as it takes it to your phone though, right? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah I know what it's SIM card is. <clears throat> yeah, I mean those are good if it works. You know, if, if you can actually get a signal from it, but right. my cell phone don't even work by hundred, so it wouldn't do me no good to put one out there because I wouldn't I wouldn't ever hey, get a picture. Give me that right, there, man. right. Hey, look at this guy right here, y'all. Uh, you got it today. <laughs> hey, I'm oh, sorry, gonna, Sam. I'm sorry. You get your talk bad about <laughs> hey, he gave me the horns, didn't he? <laughs> How bad by Sammy you get the horns. Let me see what he sent me, man. You know what? I kind of feel bad, man, because I really didn't stray from my regular colors, man. I see, you know what? That grass always green though, ain't it? Dick. Yep. Let me see what I got, man. I know, I know these colors that I asked him to make. I know they gonna work. I'm That's gonna put I'm gonna right put them in the put them in the boat as soon as I get off. It's uh, it's conflicting with your background. Yeah, uh, hold up for a second, and I uh, yeah, where you go? I don't know. You probably uh, yeah, I, I just went on that took that thing off, so I had, I had <clears> a <throat> uh, green screen on there. Yeah. That's that pop smurf right there, man. Yep, I think I got one of them. Well, I don't know how you got one of them. Cause I'm, he cause gonna I'm be the my hammer. <laughs> Cause I'm the hammer. That's why. <laughs> Cause he been on my boat when he caught some hammers. That's why. <laughs> I like that. That's that uh, five ball right there. That right there. That catch yeah. some crap on. Me. Yeah, these some good G. He did a great job on them, man. Yeah. That's one thing I'm scared to get into, man, because I know if I get into it, I'm going to go in 100%, and I just can't afford to do that. Yeah, it's uh, it's addicting. Yeah. <laughs> That's the same with doing uh, making jig heads. I thought about doing that, but I was like, man, it's, I don't have the time. Well, I got the time, but I just – it's easy for me to just buy them. Now, these got spinners yeah. on them, man. Yeah, I was going to ask you, did them, those look like they bladed? Yeah. Yeah, he gave me some bladed ones in November when he, when he came. Check it out, D. Yep. That's a good muddy water bait. And he gave me a bunch of... Gave me a bunch of something. I get that for them... Uh, for those blades. He gave me all one sixteen out though. He didn't give me no thirty sec, one thirty sec. Uh huh. Uh I like to say thank you to Sammy Wright at Game Day Jigs and Fly for sending these excellent uh, jigs for my fishing pleasure. Hey Amen. Always great to have somebody like you in my corner. Hey, Hello. look here, uh, Jermaine. Listen, man, what's yeah. your schedule like, man? I, I would like to get you on here, man. Uh, and pick your brain, man, because uh, we're gonna be talking about this property for a minute, man, till we get this thing situated, man. Uh, uh I got the keys. Uh, the deed will be Thursday, so it's about to go down. So they put it in your name. She practically is that. Is that what they doing? Oh shit! Okay, my bad. <laughs> hey man, you know what? I, I don't like to say it, man. Cause folks think I'm probably doing some roots or something, man. You know what I'm saying? It ain't even like that. <laughs> but it's like, hey, hey, you know what I'm saying? Well, when you do good, good things 
happen to you, man. But that's, you know what? That's how I feel about it, man. Oh, um, mm. she just man, it's a lady, man. She just sweetie pie, man, and um, uh, she just. It ain't even no unfortunate situation. She just like you know, you know how you meet, you know how you meet. Uh, I, I can't really put it. I can't really say it like an older lady because she ain't old. You know what I'm saying? But mm-hmm. it's like she in a situation where you know, I'm not doing nothing with it. You know what I'm saying? I would like, yeah. I like somebody to, you know, if they like doing it, to be able to use it and all that kind of shit. She said, she said, she just thought about me. Say, hey man, put it to good use and. And man, I thought about you guys, man. I said, shoot, man, I got all these fishing help, fishing guys out here to help me put this thing together, man. We probably can make something phenomenal out of this thing, man. You know what I mean? It'd be an excellent camp. Yeah, I'm but gonna, I'm gonna I'm stick with the name that uh Lok gave me the name, DB Land, man. So I'm I'm gonna stay yeah. with DB Land. A candy so, land. <laughs> yeah. I've already got it set up. Uh uh I'm putting a remote lock out there, and basically what it what it's gonna do is it's got a keypad on it. So they say, I say, Derek, say, hey, I want to go down to the camp, man, this weekend. I said, well, okay, I can either send Derek a code and he can get in himself, or when he get there, he can call me and say, Jay, gonna let me in up. And I can just unlock the gate from wherever I am. You feel what I'm saying? Oh, good. Yeah. And uh, I feel like if I get, if I set up a situation like that, it's just say, like Jermaine comes, hey, man, uh, Cameron had some haul like that. Let me go out there and get a haul. I said, well, go ahead. I said, you need a code. Just call him. He called me, unlocked the gate. He locked it back up. You know what I'm saying? If he need to, if he need to get out there early, he got the cabin, he go in the cabin. You know what I'm saying? Chill out, then walk around there, put put that thing down. We say lay the hammer down on. <laughs> yes, sir. Drop the drop the <laughs> lay the hammer down on them, Joker, man. And then, yeah. hey, did I get you a call us up, Derek? Say, hey, man, I got one. Well, let me Y'all know. Bring some, bring some bread, which <laughs> yeah, <laughs> we come out there eating eating meat up. What let me know say? you going back down there to to fish. She said, "When are you going to put it out there for volunteers to help when you, out?" When you go back down there, what say D R D? Let yeah, me know I mean, when you're going down there again oh. to uh to to yeah, I hear you. Can you hear me? Yeah, you kind of like uh yeah. got that jitterbug fit going My on. My phone again. might be going to die. Yeah, it sounds like it. Yeah. Yeah, I think my phone's going to die. That's a dog <laughs> old shame, man. I ain't got a talk to you. Yeah, come back in hey, if you but, can, uh, man. Yeah, let me know when you're go. going back out there to check out the fish population, man. Yeah, uh, what all I'm right. gonna do is uh my uh all right there, but uh my cousin he got one of those uh plastic pontoon boats. I'm gonna put it out there on the water with a um what you call it, um uh, fish finder. Yeah, and I'm gonna map it out kind of like what you say, uh Joe, just see what, what the, the depth really is around them I in how you know mm-hmm. because until we find out how deep the thing is and where it's deep at and where it's not deep, it's we ain't gonna really a, know how to fish. You know what I'm saying? It's just some water. <laughs> yeah. So we go out there and uh and uh see what's going on with it. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And uh because it might be a situation where it's shallow here, it might be nothing but a large mouth lake. You know what I'm saying? Right. Yeah. So <clears throat> that's what's up. Other thing I want to tell you guys, man. Uh, I don't know if I should tell you. know what? I ain't going to tell you. I just put it on another video because it ain't nothing but some, some foolishness anyway. I'm going I'm to I'm laugh. Have y'all laughing it <laughs> a, little, a, a little later and stuff, man. But something I did, man, uh, a couple of weeks ago, man. I said, I'm going to tell these guys, see if they're going to laugh at me, man, or support me or whatever. But I did something so crazy, man, but I'm so proud of it, man. I can't wait. <laughs> Let's see what Star just say. Say get the water tested too. Yeah, um, I don't know if you guys saw the video at the beginning. I dropped a uh, little one minute video. I went out there uh, last weekend and um, <clears throat> I threw a cork out there in the water with a mint on it. And uh, somebody immediately I caught a nice large mouth bag. I mean, he wasn't he wasn't prolific. Well, <laughs> 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 and it was just one said joke. 
Yeah. He wasn't prolific, <laughs> but uh, he was a nice badge. You know what I'm saying? That was just, you know, I said, okay, they're late healthy. You know what I'm saying? But I am, um, when I put the notice out last week, uh, Sammy sent me a, a link. Derek sent me a link to a biologist to come out there and either test the water or observe to see what's going on with the water. Uh, they sent me the link to uh, to restock, but the way they want to restock is, you know, it's just it's, it's something. It's very simple. It's like you pay a hundred dollars and give you like five hundred bags or something. It's 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 a number. It's catfish versus brim versus largemouth. You know what I'm saying? But it's not crappy. And you mm. pay like a hundred bucks. You go pick them up. You can't come back and you dump them in your lake. But they want you to dump them in a lake that's empty. You know what I'm saying? They don't want you to put it in a lake that's already uh, dry. Got fish in it. Yeah. Yeah, they feel like you just feeding the fish that's in there. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Which I don't care because, you know, it's the right fish going in there. You get me? Mm hmm. But, uh, I don't care what none of y'all say, man. Just as soon as I get to Old County and I catch me 30 of them crap, get where they going, Joe. <laughs> yeah, I was about to say. I was about to say we can restock it. We can stock it up for ourselves. Yeah. yeah. I, hey, them boys, they don't do it. Hey, Jermaine, well, let them tell you something. I, I was just saying, let's see what, what what's the, ma the, uh, the main depth of the lake is. Like, if it's 20 feet, then, yeah, go ahead. You know what I'm saying? But that's what I was saying. You know, Stoke Pond, the guy, they got the farm pond over here where I live at. Yeah. That pond can't, listen, man, they ride Four wheeler through here, you know what them snorkels on? Yeah. So it can't be it can't be deep, man, because uh the the whole top of the four wheeler be showing in the middle, man, and All that right. thing is full of crap, man. But like you said, they stun it. Right. But my thing it is right here. Make this lake nice, man. You know, bring it, bring your family out that one weekend, man. You want to take the kids, man, just to go fishing. You know what I'm saying? I'm talking about it's nice, man. Get out there one day, man. Get some volunteers, man. We clean out the whole perimeter where you can just walk around unencumbered. You know what I'm saying? Hmm. Cut the low limbs and stuff, man, and just, man, go out there. It, it really ain't nowhere to park. You know what I'm saying? You have to park on the main road and walk down the driveway. And uh, But you you have, like I say, you'll have a cabin out there. You got a dock to fish off of. You got paddle boats out there. You know, ain't no telling what I might buy put out there. You know what I'm saying? I might put an extra paddle boat out there. You know? Uh, John boat, something like that. Just have fun. Like I say, if you guys, one weekend you want to come by, just call me and say, hey, Django, uh, open the gate up. And I, like I said, I can open the gate up from anywhere. Or if the gate doesn't open, I can just send you a code. You get what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> and I'm talking about, I wanted to be a retreat for the homies, I ain't trying to open it up to be a county, you know what I'm saying? Just like the <laughs> homeboy calls, hey man, I'm trying to take it easy weekend, man. Let me in the gate, you know what I'm saying? That kind of thing. Yeah. I ain't trying to go down. Jermaine go down. He got Jeff Rowe, Eddie, Eddie Lewis, and everybody else over there. Eddie Lewis, I ain't talking about you, Eddie Lewis. I just your name came up. <laughs> 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 Eddie Lewis, you invited anytime. <laughs> but I'm just saying, Frank, them, all them, yeah, we ain't trying to go fishing everybody on the lake, you know what I'm saying? I just, yeah. when, when Jermaine want to go out there, he out there by himself, chill, you know what I'm saying? That kind of thing. You got your kid with you, you know how you like to hang out with your kids and stuff? You go out there and shoot and make all the fuss you want to, you ain't got to worry about nobody. And get me right here, Jermaine, the guy that owns the land across the street, he owns like hundreds of acres, man. Clear it off, man. He let them, he let them hunt his land free. Oh yeah, yeah. That's why I say I want to go out there with the drone and fly it over the top just to see what's going on. I fly it on his side too. You know what I mean? Man, I've been trying to find some land for about two, three years now. Well, look here. Still All looking. you got to do is is uh do what you know I'm gonna do. Them helping hands, community service yeah. stuff, man. Let get this thing yeah. right, and then you got somewhere to go. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, all I want well, to see. That's why I'm late. I just uh, I just little baseball practice. That's why I got in late tonight. Yeah, well, we finna get ready to close this thing out. We've been on here an hour and thirty minutes, Joe. Joe, you yeah. sure be talking, man? <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> well, that being said, guys, man, look here. Thanks for joining us tonight, man. We always enjoy hearing for you guys. Wait, wait, wait. Before I go, I got. Couple of guys.
came on late. Who it is? Uh, so I'm late getting on. What's going on, guys? I tell you what's going on, everyone. We finna get up out of here, bro. <laughs> I'm glad you came, though, man. Look, man, before I go, man, do me a favor. Thumbs up. Pounds. Dad. What else, y'all? Monkey man. Anything, man. <laughs> Clap a hand. Throw it up, though, man. Say, no, 3K, where's my T-shirt, bro? Dude. Man. I tell you what. Uh, so I need three of them. I tell you what. Judicial, um, I'll send you a link, man, and uh, we'll square up on your T-shirt, bro. I know I've been messing around, man, but I got your T-shirts, man. I, I square up with you, man. Uh, guys, hold off on your orders <laughs> right now. Hey, I'll give you a T-shirt in a minute, man. I just, I'll just, the, the, the web page, I just, the store is open. But for some reason, PayPal won't connect right with me, man. I don't want to do it another way, but it seems like I'm going to have to do it another way. So until I, I get that right, you know what I'm saying, you can't just order it straight off because there's no way to pay for it. So I don't want y'all just calling me, talking about cash out, doing all that boogie stuff, you know what I'm saying, when y'all can just do something really safe and then your merchandise come to you. But He said let them fix the web page. Huh? <laughs> See, well, let them fix the wheel it, it's not tall up it's, it's on my end man i think let, i probably uh let me fix it <laughs> yeah but uh yeah vincent man hey listen vincent that's judicial number love bro <laughs> but uh yeah i'm gonna get y'all straight man we're we gonna get y'all straight i'm gonna get y'all t-shirts man i got the t-shirt but i don't want y'all have to order through no doggone uh we just call it cash out. I want y'all to be able to do it safely, man. So y'all don't be calling me to my Django took my money and all this old mess. No, bro. You're going to get it. Is that how Rihanna said you're going to get it how you live. <laughs> <laughs> With that being said, guys, look, thanks for joining us. We'll be back next Tuesday. Make sure you guys uh, come in. Look here. You guys coming in with me next week, man? Yeah, I'll uh, be here. As soon as I get in from practice, I'll be here. Okay. Well, I tell you what we may do. Uh, if we change up the time, fellas, ladies and gentlemen, I'll, I'll put a notification out there. And you guys just join us at that uh, at that particular time. But until then, man, I see you guys next go round, bro. All right, I'll peace. Peace out, y'all. Later.